Hi, everyone. Welcome. Thanks very much for joining in. Patricia in Dublin. Hey, Andrea. Christchurch. We're all over the place. Okay, three hearts. And that is a preempt. So uh, seven card suit. Good seven card suit. And sort of seven, eight points, something like that. Hey, Susan, welcome. Uh, so I'm going to bid four hearts. There's no guarantee that four hearts is going to make here. It looks pretty good. We've got a reasonable hand with hearts, but we could easily easily lose ace, king of spades, ace, king of clubs before we get going. But I'm going to bid four hearts anyway. It's just, it's worth a shot. And, okay, well, we've got some uh we're going to lose two spades as um, i thought we might we've also got that club to lose now what i'm doing here what i should say because we're normally used to playing from the south hand from our own hand but sometimes we uh get to play with the trumps in the north hand now declare it as north here so you know north is playing the hand anyway but sometimes, even if we were um, playing a real hand, sometimes the longer trump suit ends up in the in, in dummy. And I find it quite helpful there in that situation to sort of mentally put myself in the north hand. The, the reason I'm saying that is that when we look at the losers, I'm going to lose two spades and I'm going to lose a club in the north hand, that's a lot easier than trying to look at the losers in the south hand because there's so many of them, right? So put yourself in the north seat and you'll see we've got two spades to lose and one club to lose, um, no hearts because we've got so many of them, and one diamond. We've got the ace king of diamonds to take care of the two and the three, but then we've got one diamond to lose. So where can we get rid of that one diamond loser? Well, maybe if East has got the king of spades, then we, we're going to lose this trick. And then maybe we can set up the queen of spades in time. I'm not sure. See how we go. Thanks. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. Great to see you all here. And don't be shy about commenting and, and chatting away while we play, too, because uh, it's more fun. And sometimes I mess up, so I need some help. <laughs> Right, uh, club, ace of clubs, which we're going to rough. And really, I just, I'm, I'm going to play, I'm going to draw trumps and play a spade towards the queen, and I'm just going to hope that east has got the king of spades. So if that works, it's great. If it doesn't work, I'm going to go down. So let's draw a couple of trumps. It's all the trumps got. I might as well. I'm going to play some hearts now, just in case the opposition throw away all their spades, which is good. But I like those. I like the fact that the spades are disappearing. So let's keep playing hearts. One more heart. Uh, yeah, I'll play one more round of hearts. Actually, no, I won't. I'm going to play a spade. Ten. Hmm. Okay, great. So it seems that East has given us a trick there because if she'd played the king, then we would have lost that trick. But it works out exactly the same. That's not a mistake from East at all. Um, had East played the king of spades, then I would have just played low, losing that spade trick. But then my uh, my queen would be set up for later, so I would be able to throw away that diamond at the end. So that's fine. Mind you, uh, if... Eh, there we go. Okay, so we, it looks like we're just going to make exactly 10 tricks. And that's fine. Good. 
So again, no guarantees that we were going to make that contract. We actually had to make a spade trick. That was our 10th trick. Um, so no guarantees there at all, but it turned out okay. 10, 13 high card points this time. Uh, and I'm certainly going to overcall a heart. Just always checking the vulnerability while we play. It's important. So um, we're vulnerable, the opposition aren't. Um, doesn't matter. I'm still going to overcall a heart, but I, I want to just soak that information in. One heart, one a trump pass, two clubs. So East has got five spades and, sorry, East has got five diamonds and four clubs. Uh, I'm, I'm torn here. I sort of, my hand's pretty good, but I, I don't like the fact that we're vulnerable. If I bid two hearts here and go two down, minus 200, which is possible, that would be bad. Um, I might go one down doubled, 200, that would be bad. But I, yeah, I quite, quite like my hearts. I have a sneaking suspicion North's got a whole lot of spades too, because uh, if East has got five diamonds and four clubs, uh, she doesn't have many spades. And West could have been one spade, but he didn't. He bid one no trump. So West doesn't have four card spades. So I suspect North has got a whole bunch of spades here. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to bid two hearts. Actually, it's kind of, to be honest, it's, I'm a little bit tempted to bid two spades because I'm just pretty sure North's got a whole lot of spades here. But that would be kind of silly. So I'm just going to bid my hearts again. A little nervous. And, yep, sure. So North's got all those spades. So had I bid two spades, um, that might have been pretty cool, but that's all That's all fine. Um, actually, knowing North was likely to have some spades gave me a bit of encouragement to bid two hearts because I thought that spade suit might be a useful side suit. So North, it's interesting, isn't it? North doesn't have to bid. We can just look at the um, East and West bidding and kind of figure out that North had the spades there. All right, King of Diamonds. Uh, so we know East has got the Ace of Diamonds. Looks like the fact that North has, sorry, the fact that West has led the King of Diamonds, if West had three diamonds to the King, he probably would have led a low diamond. So I suspect East started with six diamonds. So I'm hoping not seven. Can I afford? Well, I might as well. I'm going to rough with the eight because on the next round, I'm just going to play a heart to the ace anyway. Uh, I'll play a spade to the ace. I'm going to hopefully draw. I'm hoping east has at least one more heart. No. Okay. So that was always a possibility. The fact that East had so much in the minors meant West had all those hearts. So I started with six. There was one in the north hand, one in the east hand. So West started with five. Uh, I've drawn uh, two rounds. So West has got three hearts left. Now we might be okay here because what's going to happen is um, when I play a heart, I can just play hearts and I don't think West has got any diamonds left. So when West gets in, um, he's going to have to play either a spade or a club and we're going to be home and host. So I can just um, club and I can just draw the last couple of trumps now. Club and two spades. Right. Okay. Honestly, I was a little nervous about bidding two hearts. I know my hand's good, but uh, it could have. 
gone awry, given that, um, you know, again, just following this whole logic through, the fact that West didn't bid spades means that he's got three spades at the most. He didn't support clubs or diamonds, so it's very likely that West does have a whole bunch of hearts there. All right, good, let's carry on. Who's played these hands uh, already and who hasn't? Oh, by the way, if you are watching the this um, live or watching the replay, these hands are just the normal Skybridge Club hands for today. So I've just gone on, click that big red play button, skybridgeclub.com, click the play button, and I'm just playing the hands. Nothing special here. So you can play the same hands um, yourself. That's how you get them. Skybridgeclub.com. Click the play button. Susan's played them already. Yep. Good, Susan. And 10, 15 high card points. That is one club. Oh, that's my suit there. One club, one diamond, one spade, three diamonds. All right. So good news and bad news. We've got a spade fit. That's good. Uh, my spades aren't very good. That's bad. We've got a singleton diamond. That's good. It's the singleton king, and that's bad because uh, although it looks, we, we count that to start off with as three points, but it's not, the, the fact that it's a singleton is good, but the fact that it's a king is not good because West is going to have the ace probably, or East is going to have the ace, and we're not, that king as a king is of no value. I would far rather that singleton king of diamonds what um, had been the king of spades. But it's not, so that's fine. And I'm just going to bid three spades here. And North bids four spades, okay, that's all fine. Right. Well, I'll look at those spades. We're going to lose a diamond, and we're going to lose a heart, and we're going to probably lose two spades. The only way we cannot lose two spades is if West has got the king and the queen. That's my best chance. The best chance is to play low spade towards the ace jack and just hope that west has got the king and the queen unlikely but that's our best shot uh, well i'll play a heart i want to get to the south hand so i'm just going to play a heart and a club and here we go. Maybe we have a small chance here. Let's. I want to get back to my hand and play another spade. And we've just got to hope West plays the king. He and he does. Are we going to get lucky? Goodness gracious me, we are going to get lucky. So now I can draw the last trump and I've got the rest of the trick. So we were lucky. This only made because West had the king and queen of spades. That was the only chance. Um, normally we would like, just look at that king queen of spades in fact check this out what are the chances of that contract making uh let me just see if i can get some cards here for you All right so we're missing the king and the queen we needed west to have the king and queen of spades there's four ways that this those king and queen could be distributed west could have the king and queen that's one possibility. West could have the king and East could have the queen. That's another possibility. 
West could have the Queen and East could have the King. That's another possibility. And East could have the King and the Queen. So there's four ways that King and Queen can be distributed. And only one way, only if West had both of them, were we going to make that contract. And furthermore, we also needed the spades to break um, three in one hand and two in the other. So we were lucky. That's it. We were lucky. Right, pass, pass, one spade. Mm, 19 high card points. Interesting. I can't, this, this is an interesting hand, isn't it? What do you think we should do on this hand, everybody? It's strong, it's a, it's a good hand. We've got, we've got good clubs. We, the spade suit is dodgy, but it looks like we might have a spade stopper as well if we end up playing in three no trumps or, or some number of no trumps. So maybe no trumps is right, maybe clubs is right, and we don't know how high to bid. So uh, there's something to be said for bidding two clubs. There's something to be said for bidding no trump. There's something to be said for double. I could, um, all of those things are close. Patricia's going to double. Okay. Um, Barbara's going to double, and it didn't go well. But I think regardless of whether it went well or not, double on this hand is a perfectly reasonable option. Um, it's sort of a little bit too strong to bid two clubs, and even a little bit too strong just to bid one no trump. So I, let's, I'm going to go with Patricia and Barbara here. Susan as well, all right? Um, Susan doubled as well. Heather bid two clubs. I'm going to go with double, and we'll see what happens. Two diamonds. You know, I'm going to bid two no trumps because I just don't need much in my partner's hand here. I feel like I'm slightly overbidding this, but let's see what happens. Pass. Yeah, it's really annoying. Eh? Two no trumps is seldom a good contract. Yep. Okay, so we are in a spot of bother, but there you go. Two clubs would have been great. Heather, as usual, Heather's, Heather's can, um, is picking things really well these days. Uh, still, I'm, I'm not, um, regardless of how this is going to go, I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm not, um, I don't feel bad about the Tuna Trump, but oh, look at this. Well, that helped a little bit. King. Well, that's good. So we're actually going to make five club tricks, a heart, a six, and two spade, two diamond tricks. So we're actually, I'm almost certainly going to make this contract now. Uh, Susan saying double and then three clubs. Yeah, Susan, that's actually, that's um, that would be a good option as well. Goodness gracious me, look at this. I'm actually going to end up making three no trumps. How about that? This really worked out exceptionally well for us. Oh, in fact, I'm going to make four no trumps. How about that? Well, we were a little lucky that, actually it's quite interesting, isn't it? Let's just, let me finish this hand and we can talk it through for a sec. What worked out in our favor there was that um, because we didn't bid clubs, West wasn't sure who had the clubs, I guess. And so uh, he switched to a club, maybe not the best switch from West. And uh, we got a little bit lucky there. Now, Susan's playing double. Susan is suggesting double and then three clubs. Let's just talk this through for a second because it's that's a good option. When we double, that first double, the one spade double, that can have two meanings. That can either be 
Um, so opening hand, you know, 12 points and support for all the other suits, or it can be a hand that's too strong to make an overcall. So a hand of 16, 17, 18 or more points and a long suit. So the reason suggest, Susan's suggesting double and then bid clubs is that that would show a strong overcall, whereas just um, bidding two clubs straight away would just be your normal sort of 10-ish to... 16, 17, something like that. So, yeah, all good options. Tricky hand. We, again, we got lucky. I'm feeling lucky today. Feeling lucky, lucky, lucky. All right. And five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 high card points. Ah, here we go. Look, here, here we go. This is, there we go. So, on the previous hand, we doubled because we had a very strong hand, which was too good to overcall. This time, I'm going to do uh, probably the more common type of double, which is just opening hand support for all the unbid suits. Now, I could bid two clubs here, but my club suit isn't that good. And look at those major cards. I've got four hearts and I've got three spades. So by doubling, that gives us, uh, it makes it easier for partner. We've got to try and find our heart fit or, or our spade fit here. And by doubling, that gives us the best chance of finding a major fit, a heart fit or a spade fit. Two clubs, that's just making it hard for our side. So interesting, I'm, I'm glad these last two hands came up because they show the two different, um, the way the double can show two different types of hands. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't bid two clubs now. East has got the clubs. So we're out of this. There's, we're gone. East, there's nothing more for us to do. We've just got to defend. Oh, no. So North is coming in. North won't have a very good hand, but this, the auction looks a little confusing because there's so many bids going on here, but let's just focus on two the main thing, East bid a diamond and West bid two diamonds. And if North had passed, we would be defending against two diamonds. And it looks like the opposition have probably got a diamond fit. So we don't want to be defending two level contracts when the opposition have got a, a trump fit. So North, who I suspect doesn't have a strong hand, has recognised that one diamond two diamond um, auction, albeit mixed in with a whole lot of other bids, and has said, let's not, I don't want to defend this. So uh, that's that's fine, we're going to pass. Not, I'm um, slightly nervous because we're vulnerable, so we can't afford to go down two, but, okay, great. So, and that's plenty high enough. North has done a really good job pushing the defence, pushing to clear up to three diamonds, we're out of it. We That's plenty. And my lead. Now, I'm not going to lead a spade because just because North bid spades, he doesn't necessarily have to have a strong hand here. He might have a whole lot of junk, just five small spades or something. So I want to sit back and wait for my spade tricks. Uh, I'm certainly not going to lead a club. I could lead a heart. I could even lead a diamond because it's because East and West have got a um, diamond fit. Where are their tricks coming from? Um, West, think of what Declare is going to do here. Uh, Declare is going to make some diamond tricks, but she's not going to make many club tricks because I've got the clubs sitting behind East. And she's not going to make many spade tricks or heart tricks. So all Declarer's tricks are going to be coming from the trumps. And Declarer might even try and cross rough this hand. So a reasonable option for me would be to lead a diamond and try and stop East and West cross roughing. Uh, I think any lead is okay except a club. Actually, I'm going to leave a heart because it looks kind of safe. And there's some trumps. 
Uh, I'm still not, I'm s not super keen on, I, I can afford to throw a heart here. All right, so it looks like E started with five, five, three, two, three, three, one, four, five. Looks like E started with five diamonds and north may have four i'm not sure i think i can afford to throw a club here i don't yeah i think i can afford to throw a club ace of diamonds so yeah now the fact that east is drawing the last diamond playing another diamond means that she's trying to draw one more trump from north so north is going to follow suit here so i think east started with five diamonds I'm still I'm a bit nervous about the club. So what what I'm worried about is that if I, uh, I'm going to get the lead and I'm going to end up having to lead something back to east. So if I throw my spades here and east and I get the lead, eventually I'm going to have to lead clubs back to east. So uh, I'm going to play a club. I know I'm throwing away east suit but I just don't want to get myself in played here. Maybe I should have. So I think I threw one too many clubs, to be honest. Oh, well, that's good. 10 of spades. Ten of spades. What's going on with spades? So it says, must North must have something in spades. So if North wins this, maybe I should win, play the Jack of Hearts, and then a spade to North. Um, what I'm worried about is if I play if I play low here and North plays a heart, I could give myself tank in played a bit. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to play the Jack. Cash my heart. Play a spade to north. And I've got the last two tricks. I, honestly, I didn't really know what was going on at the end in the spade suit there. North actually had quite a good hand. Um, north had four diamonds, as we suspected. So let's look at that auction. A diamond, double a heart. I think north could have bid a spade there. North didn't have to pass. Now, North didn't have to bid because West bid one diamond double. North normally has to respond to the double. When West bids one heart, North no longer has to bid. But with that six six good uh, spade suit, North certainly could have bid one spade. He didn't have to wait and bid three spades. Anyway, that worked out all fine. Okay, all good. Patricia, what time is it in Dublin? Goodness gracious me, it's seven, what is it, 7.30 here in New Zealand. Must be 8.30 or something in the morning. I know we've got a few folk from the USA who watch, um, uh, talking to some from uh, East Coast USA today. I think you guys over there are probably watching the replay. <laughs> um 8 30 in the morning hey janet welcome from canada nice to have you with us all right one spade you must must be early in the morning for you too janet 9 30 in munich wow that's great so many people from all over the place that's great awesome awesome thanks so much for joining in all right one spade uh this is i'm not going to bid i could <clears throat> i could bid two clubs i could do some wild three club bid but it's really not a good hand so i'm just going to pass because we're not vulnerable and east and west are vulnerable uh i know some players who would preempt on this and if I was feeling frisky, I might even do something wild myself. But I think just in case children are watching, I'm just going to do a quiet little pass. 
once by one Trump pass pass. <clears throat> I kind of want to bid two clubs now. I'm I'm slightly nervous that uh, North will think I've got a good hand, but defending one of Trump doesn't isn't uh, my favourite thing to do. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a frisky two club now. I'm hoping that North will realise that I already passed, and I'm hoping that um, we don't end up in some crazy three no Trump contract or something. But here we go. Let's see what. Three dollar drops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry, North. Um, I'll take the blame for this one, but I think we're going to have to share the blame here. Let's see. Okay. 15 high card points. Yeah, all right. Well... Yeah, I, so it's hard for North, or I can understand why North would bid three no trumps there. But if North was, maybe if we had a better kind of understanding about things, it's so hard playing with a computer. But um, I think if I'd been playing with my friend Ian, he would have recognized that my two club bid was likely to be bad there, and he would have passed. And I would be playing in a nice, quiet two club contract. I think if I were playing with someone who I had a less established partnership with, like the computer, then the computer would bid three no trump. So, um, anyway, let's see how we go. So, what was the option again? A spade and no trump. Pass past two clubs, two no trumps. So, East has led the four of spades. So, uh, East started with. Five spades, I'm almost certain. So let's see what happens here. Four, five, queen, all right. So I'll just play the queen. Now, there's a small chance. If I'm going to play the queen of clubs here, now what should the defense do? When I play the queen, remember my south hand is the dummy, so they can see all these clubs here. So I'm going to play the queen of clubs. Probably the right thing for the defense to do here would be what? They should duck, right? Because if, if defense takes their ace of clubs, that potentially allows me to get over to the king of clubs as an entry. Yeah, right, Linda. Quite right. Linda's saying not cover. Quite right. Now let's see what let's see what happens. Aha, uh -huh, ace of clubs. So West made a little mistake there. We have a small little chance here that uh, you know I could finesse the clubs, say, and maybe make five club tricks. And ace of diamonds is six. We're still going to be a few short, but let's see how we go. I'm going to play the six here, and I just um, I don't have enough tricks yet, so I'm just going to play low and see what happens. King, well, that's good news. Spade, that can't be too bad. All right, so the seven of spades has won the trick, so we're getting kind of close. I think West had the ace of clubs, we know that. And I think West also had the Queen of Diamonds because on the previous trick, East played the King. Uh, if East had the King and the Queen, she would play. She would normally play the Queen. Following suit, we played a lower of touching honors. So I think West uh, started with the Ace of Clubs and the uh, Queen of Diamonds. That's six. Who's got the jack of clubs? Should I be finessing the clubs or should I be playing the king, hoping that the club drops? I'm not sure yet. Uh, so let's, while I'm here in the south end, I'm going to finesse the diamond. 
Yeah, interesting, isn't it? I sort of want to set a heart trick up as well. The only thing is, that as soon as I lose the lead, East is just going to play all those spades, so I can't afford to do that. So let's let's get this over and done with. That's three tricks. Uh, four. Well, uh, here we go. Do or die. Oh, 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 amazing. What happened today? There must be something in the, something going on. This is the luckiest session I've had in a long time. So somehow we snuck that one home. We uh, lucky day. It is my lucky day, Linda. You're quite right. My oh my, Heather. Yeah, we were lucky. So I like to say that this was great, um, brilliant, brilliancy. But actually, we just got lucky. So let's take a second here. Sometimes things go well for us, better than we, better than. We deserve, which is what's happening to me today, and some this and by the same token, sometimes things don't go well for us, and it's not our fault. So, you know, I, I appreciate this great luck I'm having, but also if you're if you're ever playing and things aren't going so well for you, it's not always your fault. In the same way that it's. I don't deserve this. <laughs> that makes sense. You know, it's a game. It is a game of luck to a certain extent. To a large extent, in fact. Patricia is still waiting for a lucky streak. Hang in there, Patricia. Actually, what you got to do? No, I got. I got it. You got it. What you have to do for luck? All you need. I haven't got a piece of string yet. But what you do is you get a piece of string. I don't have a piece of string handy. But you take your string and you hold your string and you have to walk around the chair. I can't remember how many times it is. I think I think it's six times. I'm just gonna do two. But if you hold a, if you hold get a piece of string, hold a piece of string and walk around your chair six times. Guarantee. Guarantee you'll you'll get lucky. 10, 12 high card points. One heart. I think it's six times. A bit of check. Actually, someone should check that. I'm pretty sure it's six times. I hate to get that wrong. I, <laughs> man, yeah. We, you better, someone, does anybody know? That's a one heart. One heart, two hearts, three clubs, all vulnerable. Uh, so we've got a big heart fit, we're vulnerable, so I'm nervous, but I, I'm just the fact that we've got such a big heart fit, uh, I'm going to bid three hearts, but I am nervous, the fact that we're vulnerable, if we go two off, that's a disaster, not vulnerable, this would be easy, I'd bid three hearts, but um, I'm nervous. So we're going to lose two clubs, a diamond. Well, we're going to make four hearts. So that's fine. So ace of clubs, two of diamonds, ten of clubs, jack of diamonds, which we can rough. Uh, we had a 10 card fit, so there's only uh, three trumps out. Oh, so he said one more trumps. So that's fine. I can still afford to rough the diamond, the 10. Play Ace of Hearts. Cross to the ace of spades, 
draw the last trump. And we've got the rest of the tricks. So we end up making 10 tricks here. I don't feel that we underbid, although as it happens, uh, four hearts was definitely the spot. I'm sure there will be a bunch of people in four hearts on this hand. What do you think from the north hand? Interesting, isn't it? I oh, know Patricia's fallen over and broken a leg. I never, yeah, maybe it was, maybe I got the wrong number. Okay, check out the north hand here. One heart, two clubs, two hearts. What do you think? It's seven high card points. I'm looking at this two heart bid. Is is seven high card points, which is about right. One no trump, uh, two hearts shows six to nine. Uh, it's pretty good though, isn't it? Do you reckon that's worth an upgrade? Do you think Do you think North might have been three hearts on that hand, or do you think two hearts is about right? I for me, I think North is slightly on the timid side here uh i think north probably could have been three hearts i wouldn't have gone even if north had been three i'm not sure i would have been four anyway so um, i don't whatever north did i don't think we would have got to game but i do think with that singleton diamond um north might have been a bit more you know, four card heart support singleton diamond points and his long suit um yeah anyway that's fine uh, 65 percent nothing wrong with that for a score right let's play hand eight. Oh, nice 10 13 high card points uh now we're slightly stuck here the if I, were, if I had this convention available, I would bid, do something to show both majors here because, um, you know, I really want to be suggesting to partner that we play in hearts or spades. But we don't have that option available. So all the bids, the way the Sky Bridge Club computer is set up, we don't have any conventions available over a no trump by East. Now, the, the reason I've set that up that way is that there's just so many different conventions in the world. And if I said, well, let's play you know, whatever one I chose, then I know that everyone would want to play some other convention. So just to keep it all simple, that I, I don't want to get bogged down in um, conventions and gadgets and things. I just want to play bridge at Sky Bridge Club because I don't like conventions anyway. So here I'm, I'm going to bid two diamonds because it's my five card diamond suit. But uh, this is one case where it would be useful if I had some way of showing both majors. I don't. If I bid two clubs, partner would think I just had clubs. So two diamonds. Okay. Now East. East and West must have a big club fit because West bids three clubs and East bids four clubs. East wouldn't normally be bidding again, uh, having opened no having opened a no trump, and it's now gone to four clubs. So big fit here. Uh, I'm I'm going to bid four diamonds just because uh, I think we've got a diamond fit. I'm not happy defending four clubs when it looks like the opposition have such a big fit. And nobody's vulnerable. If we were vulnerable, or uh, even if the opposition were vulnerable, I might think about defending. But once again, vulnerability is important. So I'm going to bid four diamonds. If I, another thing I could do here, imagine I bid four hearts. And if North liked hearts, he could pass. If he liked spades, maybe he could bid spades. And if he didn't like hearts with spades he could go back to five diamonds that will be an option but i don't really want to be playing in five diamonds if i don't have to so there's you know even though we even though we don't 
have conventions available. Sometimes, not often, there is a way to to um, show all our suits. But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get four diamonds. Five clubs. Oh, really? Yeah, well, how many tricks have we got? We, I, I just don't know. We we might have three tricks. Does that see see that three clubs is not forcing? I don't. I'm not super keen on five dimes. I don't mind double. Patricia, do you think I should go for it? Patricia saying go for it. Well, okay. You reckon? All right, Patricia, this is for you. I hope you're meaning, were you meaning bid five diamonds? Or were you meaning double? What should we do here? I don't know. I, I sort of, I feel like, I feel like I'm more inclined to pass. I might bid five clubs and I might bid five diamonds. I'm not sure. What do you reckon? Patricia, are you saying bid five diamonds? Okay, this is for Patricia. I'm not sure what to do, to be honest. So, all right, Patricia. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ah, should have done a string walk. <laughs> yeah. I should have done the string walk, Linda. Yeah, you're quite right. Oh, good one. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, we're going to lose two spades. Well, we have a small chance. We would need East to have, what was the option? One no trump from East, two diamonds. Three clubs, four clubs, five clubs. All right, so West has, West has probably got six clubs and East has got five clubs. So we, we're going to lose two speeds and... We might make. So I'm going to rough this. I need to finesse the diamond, so I need to cross over to the heart. And I am kind of hope... Um, I hope this isn't singleton king. Oh, no, look at this. Goodness gracious me. I'm going to make... I'm going to make another one. Oh, there's still a trump left. Oh no, hang on, five, four, yeah, there's still one trump left. So, queen of diamonds, can see the spade, of diamond, of club. Yeah, so we're okay. So we draw the last trump. Can see the spade. Oh, I didn't need to play the nine, but whatever. So rough. Can see another spade. And we've got the rest. Well, amazing. I don't honestly. I don't think I was. I wasn't going to do that. So you, you guys have helped me here. Thank you so much. I'm lucky because I'm feeling lucky. I've got a piece of string, and you guys are out there helping me making. Um, so this is this is a good score for all of us. Look at that. Nice one. Well done, everybody. Thank you. Good job. All right, love it. Okay, let's play hand nine. Very good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven high card points. Heather's say tinny. <laughs> yeah, you might be right, Heather. Good job, everybody. One club pass. So here I'm just going to bid one diamond. No need to, just changing the suit, keep the bidding low, see what North does. North can't pass this because we've changed suit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Well, Going to bid no trumps now. I'm not going to bid the diamonds again. I've got something in spades. I've got sort of reasonably no trump looking. Uh, I've got six of them, six diamonds. Only 12 high card points. 
So it's going to be touch and go, but the way we're going tonight, we might as well just up and bid three no trumps. Yeah, here they let's bid no trumps. I'm going to bid three, slightly pushy. West is almost certainly going to lead a speed. And we're going to make two spade tricks because I just let this run round to the queen. Probably five diamond tricks. So I think we're going to be okay. So let's play spade. So we win the queen. Uh, now we need to get these diamonds going pretty quickly. Sorry, by going, I mean we need to establish this diamond suit quickly. And uh, I, I sort of want to be in the north hand to finesse the diamonds. How to get to the north hand? Well, I don't want to play a spade because that's my last spade stopper. I could play a club, but there's a little danger here. Suppose I play a club to the king, which loses to the ace, and then east plays another spade, knocking out my spade ace, and then I take the diamond finesse and it loses, I'm in strife. So uh, that could go wrong. I could play a heart over to the ace and finesse the um, diamond, but the awkward thing is there is that that takes away, if I do that, it's um, I've lost one of my heart tricks. So I'm thinking that I might just play ace of diamonds and queen of diamonds and reject the diamond finesse. Um, that way I can get back and forth. That's what I'm going to do. Ace of diamonds, nice, just simple. Well, that's kind of good news for me in a way because had I crossed, had I crossed over to the table uh, to the north hand in order to, to finesse diamonds, the finesse wasn't going to work. So. Um, I'm quite happy here that um, I didn't do that. King of spades. Right, so now my diamonds run now. So I've just got to get back to my hand with a heart. And I'm going to play four rounds of diamonds. One. Three more rounds of diamonds. What am I going to throw? Well, I, I could throw a heart and a couple of clubs. The problem there is that as soon as I knock out the ace of clubs, the opposition are going to take their spades. So I sort of kind of, I don't want to lose the lead. I want to get as many tricks as I can before losing the lead. So I'm actually going to throw clubs and hope, remember I had the queen of hearts and the jack of hearts and the ace king in the north hand, so if the 10 of hearts falls, then my nine of hearts will be a winner. So I'm just going to play these diamonds, throwing away my clubs, and over to the heart, and hope that the 10 drops. There it is. Nine of hearts is a winner, and we have to lose one club at the end. Good. All right, so yeah, kind of awkward one. I, um, if East had the had had the King of Diamonds, then I would have been kicking myself for not crossing to the north hand and finessing. But I just wasn't comfortable about it. I felt I was I was um, by doing that I was um, taking away my sort of communication. I wasn't able to get back and forth between the two hands if I did that. So that's why I just rejected the diamond finesse. And it's kind of strange, isn't it? Because it's odd to think that I was actually lucky that West had the king of diamonds. It kind of was lucky in a way. If that makes sense. All right, lucky last.
Yeah, that's uh, Heather's saying I wouldn't have thought to do that. It's, it is an interesting one, isn't it? Because we sort of want to take the diamond finesse, but it, it's, it is hard to get back and forth between the two hands. Uh, it'd be quite an interesting one to have, to have a bit of a study up if, if you're interested. All right, hand number 10, lucky last. Seven, eight, nine high card points, all vulnerable. It's, it's a flat. And with flat is just bridge geek turn for balanced. So it's a balanced sort of hand. Nothing great, all vulnerable. That's an easy pass. One diamond, one heart. Okay, so a couple of choices here. Actually, three choices here, really. We could pass and defend hearts, which would be reasonable. We could bid one no trump because we've got the hearts well stopped. But it's almost enough to bid two no trumps because it's, it is a pretty nice hand. It's only nine, but it it does have some tens and nines and hearts sitting over his heart. So uh, I don't mind pass. I don't mind one no trump and I don't mind two no trumps. Now, Patrice is saying double, that would be okay. But in this case, um, double here would be a negative double. Actually, let me just, negative doubles can be a bit confusing, I know. So let's just quickly, uh, what have we got? Can I do this here? I think I can. Just look at a couple of options. And so let's say that East over here opens one heart and I double. Oh, Patricia, okay, so Patricia knows negative double. Sure, 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 okay. All right, so um, for anyone who is not familiar with the idea of a negative double, Patricia, I know you are, but thank you for raising the idea. Uh, one heart double, that's your normal 12 or more points and support for the unbid suits because it's a double by the overcaller. If... North bids a diamond and East bids a heart and South doubles. That's also a takeout double, but instead of showing 12 points, it only has to show six or seven or so because North has already opened the bidding. So a takeout double by the overcaller, which is what we are here, is 12 or more points. A takeout double by the responder is six, seven, eight, or what have you. And this takeout double by the responder is given the special name, negative double. It sh tends to show shortage in the suit bid and support for the other suits in the same way that one heart double, this first option also shows length in the unbid suits and shortage in the suit bid. So here it's not really the right, it's the right point count for a negative double, but it's the wrong shape. We want to be short in hearts and length in the other suits. Uh, Linda's saying, how many points would uh, one no trump or two no trumps indicate? One no trumps uh, six to nine, and two no trumps is ten to twelve, basically. But there's a there's a bit of a sort of grey area in the middle. So one no trump here, six to ten is fine. Um, with ten, you're sort of in between. So. One no trump with 10 here would be okay. Um, two no trumps with 10 would be okay. You just got to judge the hand a little bit. I'm going to bid one no trump. Susan's bidding one no trump. I'm going to bid one no trump with Susan. Two spades. Well, that's a reverse. So North has, uh, because North has bid. Uh, North has shown two suits. North is offering me diamonds or spades. And if uh, I want to go back to diamonds, I've got to go to the three level. So the fact that I might have to go to the three level to go back to North's first suit makes that option a reverse. And a reverse is forcing. I can't pass. Ah, now, actually, so Patricia, right. Uh, 
a negative, just back to the point about the negative double. And so think of this, they, doubles fall into two categories, either takeout or penalties. Takeout is partner, please bid something. Penalty is I don't think they're going to make their contract. And a negative double is in the takeout double category. A negative double is just a type of takeout double. Right, so we've got a bid here. We have to bid, and uh, you know, I like my hand. I've shown between six and nine points, or maybe ten. I'm on the upper end of that. I'm, I'm maximum for what I've shown, so I'm going to bid three no trumps. It's not that I've my hand's so great, but it's maximum for what I've already shown. So I think North's going to have a pretty good hand here. I hope. Yep, not bad. 18. As, as, as we, you know, as we uh, figured out. That, yeah, I won't labour the point, but that's another one to study up there. That's a classic reverse. So we knew North had a strong hand. And East West has led the four of hearts. East over called one heart. So we know that East has got uh, five card heart suit. That four of hearts must be a singleton. So we're going to make what have we got? We're going to make a couple of heart tricks. Um, three diamonds is five. We've got the ace of clubs is six. We can establish a couple of spade tricks for eight. We need another trick somewhere. Maybe we can set up a diamond. Um, maybe. You know, I could play low here. East will win the king and play a heart back. I could play ace of hearts and a heart towards the eight. Uh, I'll just play low. Here's the king. Oh, the jack. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. That was not East's best card. Uh, that's good for us. Now, that jack is just not good. Perhaps East was hoping that uh, my 10 would fall under the jack and, and what have you, but uh, no, that wasn't West, that wasn't East's best play. So we we um, continue our run of good fortune here. So my hearts are all good now. So let's establish the spade suit. Oh, there's the 10 of spades. Great. So King 9, look carefully at the spade suit. We've got the Queen Jack. The king and the nine, so the ten, I'm going to play the king. Now the nine is going to, um, will force out the ace. And my hearts are all good. My spades are good. Uh, I've got... All right, okay, 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 here we go. So we've got to count up the tricks here. We can, we've got, we've got uh, two more spade tricks. We've got three more heart tricks, so that's five. And we've got three heart diamond tricks for sure. Sorry, we've got two spades, three hearts is five, ace of clubs is six, and ace, king, queen of diamonds is nine. And there are, so one, two, three. We don't need to play low here because we've got the rest of the tricks. We can just play ace of clubs and one, two, three rounds of hearts, cross over to the spades and take the ace, king, queen of diamonds. And there we go, we are done. So uh, we shouldn't be lazy there. Important not to play a low club. You know, we could have lazily thought, well, play low, let it run round to the queen, but we no need because we had those nine tricks anyway. So that was good. There are a lot of interesting hands come up on today's 10 hands, a lot of instructive hands. We looked at doubles and negative doubles and 
There was some fun hands to play. Uh, so really good, really nice set of hands to review at some point. Thanks so much for watching. I, my intention now is to, um, I'm going to try and do these live streams always at the same time. I like to mix it up a bit for, I know it's not always convenient for, for the Canadians and the uh, the late risers in the, in the UK and so forth and the East Coast USA. But uh, so I'll try and mix it up a bit time-wise, but I'll definitely be doing Monday night, um, same time next week. Let's have a look what we scored today. I'm a bit curious now. Let's have a little look here. 87. Awesome. Thanks to you people. We got a good score tonight. Thank you for helping. See you all next week. Bye-bye.